Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Bind and this is your channel for Grace. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the notification bell and also giving the video a thumbs up. This pick a card reading is all about December prediction for you. We're going to go over the theme of the month, major astrological influences, divine guidance, your spirit guide for the month, your animal spirit guide for the month, and also your crystal for the month. Remember also that Jason and I are doing holiday readings, specials, and you get a natal chart reading from me and a map of destiny reading from Jason for the price of basically one. <laughs> so make sure you check the description in um, the video below this video to get the details of how to sign up for one of those. And this is pile number one, this is pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. So go ahead and take a look and intuitively pick the pile that calls to you the most. And I wish you an amazing reading for December. Pile number one, let's see what we have for you. The first card that you get is the alchemy card. And then the three astrological influences are Virgo, I analyze, Venus, all about love, and Saturn return, all about age or maturity. So alchemy is your theme for the month. Now what this means is that this month for you is a month of change. Alchemy is like magic. You, you put like, one one ingredient and then another ingredient and then something shifts and something changes and so what this means is that for you this month you're going to experience changes and they're going to be changes that might not necessarily feel the best and on the other end of the spectrum they might feel amazing but the reason i feel like they might not feel so good or they might feel uncomfortable is because we get the virgo card right after it and the virgo card is all about you know we think of virgo as being the over analyzers there's a lot to virgo there is, virgo is a beautiful energy i love virgos and i love the virgo energy itself but when you overanalyze things that are going on in your life and you try to make sense of it and you try to figure it out and you're kind of in your head a lot, that prevents you from seeing the beauty of it all, Venus, love. That prevents you from seeing the magic that's really going on, the alchemy that's really going on in your life. So it's going to be important for you to not resist the change by being too much in your head when these things come up when the changes appear. Saturn return is all about becoming more mature, reaching a phase in our lives where we have literally gone through a major growth spurt, spiritually, um, mentally, emotionally. And so we see things from a very different perspective. But what I also see in this picture is like this guy, Saturn, right? He's like has his arms crossed and he feels like, no, it feels like a tantrum is going on right there. <laughs> That's kind of the energy that I'm feeling for you. It's like this, you're, you're, you really want to resist it because you want it to be a certain way. You want it to look a certain way. And so what that does is it, it takes you too much in your head. It, it, it brings too much stuff to the head where the head can't process things like love. The head can't see the beauty and everything. And so it's really important for you to focus on the beauty of the moment. The three uh, cards for divine guidance for you are the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate, happy, happy card, I love that card, and taking risks. These are the three divine guidance cards for you. So the new moon, new moons are all about setting intentions. Um, the Pisces energy, it's interesting because Pisces and Virgo are on opposite ends of the spectrum in the astrology chart. Virgo rules the sixth house and right across on the other side, Pisces rules the twelfth house. So there's the, also this theme here of being in the present moment will actually help you to see the things that are beyond what you can't see, which is all about alchemy and um, magic. And so what this what this card is telling you here to meditate and contemplate is to when you feel like you're kind of losing control a little bit and you're wanting to make sense of things that just there's no way to make sense of them like right there in that moment you have to just trust and keep moving forward when that happens give yourself a moment to like meditate 
give yourself a moment to contemplate. Just stop what you're doing and start thinking or at least feeling your way into what's going on. And focus on being happy, <laughs> like happy, happy. Like these two, you know, the, the two words right there, right next to each other. It's like happy and then happy again. You have to focus on the what brings you joy. Like what I noticed about this card is she's so like content. Like there's magic coming out of her. There's like rainbows coming out of her. There's a star in her center. That to me is alchemy. Like that's the beauty that I see coming to you this month. Like this month is going to be amazing. You just have to remember to like stay on track by not going off track, but trying to make sense of everything when there's no making sense of it. And the third card of taking risks. This is a beautiful card. That right there is a red tail hawk and red tail hawks represent um, a masculine energy. They are a very powerful spirit guide to have in your life. If you see red tail hawks, I see them all the time, but when I see them, I know there's a message coming through and I don't have to know what it is exactly. I just have to feel it and trust that it's a positive thing. So the red tail hawk always brings positive, beautiful messages. And your message is to take risks, which means go out of your comfort zone. Don't get stuck in a certain place because you are unsure of what's on the other side of the door, right? I think Virgo energy wants to know what's going on and wants to be prepared and wants to like figure it all out. But there's no need for that this month for you. All there is, is just like be in your place, be in your heart space, be in that energy of love and just let it all kind of wash wash through you or wash all that negativity away. Your spirit guide for the week is Freya. Freya is all about phases and cycles. It's cool because she has a crow on her shoulder and there's also this full moon behind her. So you have both the new moon energy and the full moon energy here in your reading. So new moon is about setting intentions. Full moon is about releasing, letting go, making space for something new. Also taking in the, the, the benefits. So like you will bring in the abundance, like you will call in the benefits of what the practice and everything that you've been doing up to this point this month, if you, you know, set your intentions and if you stay on track, if you don't get too worked up about stuff, if you don't get stuck in the whole mental aspect of things, you will feel the universe like bringing you the rewards for all of that. And the crow is uh, a symbol of, um, it, it can mean a couple of things. The crow, crows are very like community sort of animals. So I'm feeling like some kind of community vibe here. Like you might be surrounded by people that um, align better with you, especially if you kind of stay on that track of positivity and happiness and love. And also the crow is also about magic. <laughs> so the alchemy card and the crow are kind of similar energies here. Your spirit guide for the month is the eagle. The, <laughs> you get the red tail hawk and the eagle, two of my, my two favorite animals or birds in the animal kingdom. They're amazing. So red tail hawks always brings beautiful, positive message. The eagle teaches you how to go straight towards the light, straight towards spirit, straight towards God. And I call it, it takes a, this beeline towards, you know, where you really want to go, purpose, destiny. This is all of those things, but it doesn't, it has no mercy. So that's why you have to just let it take you. This makes sense because we started the reading with the alchemy card of changes and things in your life just shifting. And now we're, you know, we see the eagle showing up and the eagle is all about no mercy. The change is happening. You just got to let it take you. That's why I'm going to say go with the flow is the most powerful message for you um, for this month. And the petrified wood is really a beautiful card too. This is your crystal and um, this is from the crystal spirits cards. The petrified wood is about patience. It's about timelessness and it's about patience and trust in universal timing and going with the flow. <laughs> That's crazy. 
The universe has its own ideas about when and how to bring your intention into form, but we can be impatient, forgetting that time allows the universal consciousness to get all the wheels turning so that what we wish to co-create can begin to manifest. The appearance of this crystal is a reminder to trust in the timing of the universe. Good things come to those who wait. Your message right now is to open to divine order, for you cannot control the timetable or the form in which the universe expresses your intention. Focus on the process, putting one foot in front of the other as you work at your own growth and healing, and what you need will show up in perfect time timing. What a beautiful way to end this reading, you guys. I'm excited for you. No matter what happens, just remember to focus on the beauty of what's all around you and to remember to keep positive and keep trusting that the universe is taking you exactly where you've wanted to go and closer towards destiny. Thank you guys so much. Um, Leave a comment down below and let me know how this reading resonated with you, what your thoughts are and what came up. And I will see you guys again uh, next month for your monthly prediction. Satnam. Paul number two, let's see what we have for you. All right, you guys, I had a feeling somebody was going to get the tower card. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We'll see what else comes up. But you've got the tower card as the theme of the month. You've got the three astrological um, influences, Libra. Taurus and Jupiter return. So when we see the tower card, and in this case, I'm going to say it's going to be something that's coming in your life that is going to be uh, something that throws you off. Like the tower means something falls apart. The tower means hitting rock bottom. The tower means also beyond that initial phase of the tower, there is a very beautiful phase. And that is what these uh, three other cards represent. So the phase right after the tower is the phase where you rebuild yourself. The tower happens because we resist change. And so there's moments in our lives where the universe says, okay, we can't wait for you any longer. So we're going to need to get you there faster. And that's what's happening. You are being asked to let go fully of everything that you believed in and to step into more purpose without whatever that thing is that is holding you back. Okay. That's what's happening for you guys this December. Now you get really cool cards right after this tower card, which makes me think that these cards represent what comes right after the tower. And that's why you have to keep the hope up. Libra is the card of balance. This is a balancing, it's like a rebalancing that's coming into your life. And when you're in balance, you feel amazing. You feel great. You feel like you can continue on with life. Um, the Taurus card is abundance. It's material possessions. It's also sensuality. It's also beauty. Interestingly enough, both Libra and Taurus are both ruled by Venus. So I'm feeling like a Venus energy here, which means this could have something to do with a relationship. It, it could possibly mean that a relationship is going to end, or it could possibly mean that a new relationship is going to begin for some of you guys. And then we get Jupiter return. Now, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Jupiter and Venus are both the benefics. Venus is the, the lesser benefic and Jupiter is the greater benefic. So these planets just bring in abundance. So Jupiter is like magnifying this and the Jupiter return is benefits coming into your life. So I want you to not look at this tower card as something negative, but I want you to look at it as something very important, a very important phase in your life so that you can get to all of this beauty, love, abundance, material possessions, gain, benefits, expansion, all of those things are coming. You have to just trust when this tower moment happens that you know why it's happening and you have to recognize it and then release and let go of anything that doesn't serve you. The three uh, divine oracle cards or divine guidance cards are the full moon in Scorpio, which is all about it's time to release negativity that aligns with the tower card. The tower 
is also ruled by Scorpio energy and also I, I feel Scorpio energy and I feel Pluto energy here. And Pluto is the planet of transformation. And so the full moon in Scorpio is bringing you another sort of seeing into the, the storm or the eye of the storm and saying, it's time to release this negativity. It's time to let it go. This is why this tower moment is coming in your life. You need to learn to become the observer. You need to learn to witness what's going on and allow it to happen without resisting it, without feeling like it should be this way or it should be that way. This is a very important for you to recognize. Becoming the observer is learning how to use your powers of uh, focus in the right way. And you need to embrace what's happening because embracing what's happening is going to help you flow better in life and understand what's going on. Because I'm gonna tell you, these next three cards are crazy when it comes to what's coming next and their powerful meaning. The first card, this is your spirit guide for the month, Serapis Bay. He is about ascension. And he says, move into your true self. Rise above the darkness, the light is here. This whole side represents the darkness. This whole side represents the light. He is here to bridge the darkness into the light. And so you're going through an ascension period. This is a spiritual awakening for some of you. This is spiritual ascension for some of you, meaning that you're going to the next phase. You're growing up spiritually. You're maturing emotionally, mentally. And so the universe needs you to be balanced. It needs you to know where you're at. It needs you to understand and get have a higher perspective. And that's exactly what's happening. You also get the lamb and the lamb is significant because the lamb represents um, the lamb represents prophetic teachings or prophetic messages that come through. He also represents you know, a, a, um, a sweetness, a calmness, an innocence. And this card, this lamb looks like a little baby lamb and it's just so cute. <laughs> so that's like, you're, you are this innocent being that is going through um, a spiritual experience here on earth in a human body. And when you do that, it's never easy. And when you have such, you know, powerful powers backing you up, it feels like you're this little tiny little thing and how can you like compare yourself to like this magnificent power that's coming at you well the truth is that it is through that innocence that the the true powerful messages come through in the world now check this out this is the card that blows my mind you get lemurian quartz believe it or not this quartz crystal right here is a Lemurian quartz crystal from Colombia. So you're literally taking in the power of this crystal that's in front of you right here. And the essential meaning of the Lemurian quartz is about vision. It's about seeing the big picture. It's about unlocking the secrets of infinite possibilities. I mean, come on now. <laughs> this is a powerful reading. Your ability to imagine something bigger and better and draw in what you need in order to heal. Feel a sense of well-being and step into your power as a co-creator is greater than you think. The message of Lemurian court spirit is that now is a time to free yourself to dream big. What do you see for yourself? How do you picture yourself in this future? What kind of person have you evolved into as you strive fully to embrace and enjoy life? On this healing journey, you are called to keep your eye on the bigger picture of your experience. Remember the observer card? so that you can recognize your struggles as leading you to epiphanies, allies, and inner visions, inner wisdom born of lived experience. Wow, that's a powerful message. Lemurian court spirit reminds you that the capacity to unlock the wisdom of the stars is within you. Just open your connection to the conscious universe and allow your imagination to soar. Very soon, a powerful vision of what is ahead of you will become clear. Oh, I love this. By the way, that's from this uh, Oracle deck called the Spirit, the Crystal Spirits, in case you wanted to get that. But so powerful, you guys. So amazing. I am so excited for this um, reading. And I hope you guys have an amazing December. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Satnam. Pile number three, let's see what we got for you. Okay, you start with the guidance card 
and that's the theme for the month for you so you're going to be receiving a lot of guidance and we'll see what that's all about in all of these next cards the three astrological influences are mars the fifth house and the north node of life's purpose or destiny now what i love about this reading is like do you see all of this orange on these cards now the color orange is all about creativity that is the fifth house the ruler of the fifth house is the fifth house is about creativity it's about creating something so what does this mean mars is the planet of drive or force or how you're going to take action this month this month is a month for you to take action for sure hands down now the north node is your destiny it's moving towards purpose so basically this month you're going to be receiving guidance as to how to take action in your life which means you have to take action by creating something activating your creativity this is second chakra stuff this is your ability to let that intuitive um, energy and messages flow through you so that you know your imagination is activated and you can create things in your life and all of this will it's it's projects it's things that you create, it's maybe art, it's music, it's whatever, whatever creativity like you feel called to create this month, like you need to do it. That's what you need to put your focus on. That's what you need to be working on. That's what you need to be placing your action towards because that guidance that you receive towards being creative is to help you reach and move closer to your life's purpose you get the spiritual guidance of the full moon in gemini which we are having a full moon in gemini on the 11th or the 12th this month depending on where you are in the world and uh the full moon in gemini the answers that you need are coming and it's all about communication and talking and speaking your truth and you know creativity is also the throat chakra like speaking the truth creatively is speaking your truth through the throat chakra which is also resonates with this color of blue of this gemini full moon but remember on the 11th that's going to be a powerful day for you so make sure that you are ready to write down whatever comes through whatever you know something you want to write like uh, a poem or a letter or a i don't know why these things are coming through or music or lyrics or um a book that you're working on or just write down the ideas that come through because a lot of ideas are going to come through this is massive mind energy gemini is like you're you're going to be hearing it in your head you're going to be having the thoughts that are coming through this powerful guidance energy to get you to be creative to make something happen in your life now remember that these creations that will come through you are to guide you towards your destiny and you have to remember that they are miracles miracles in your life now this card by the book is an interesting one the word book kind of comes through very strongly for me so some of you guys might be thinking about writing a book and this is like the the best time to do it because of this all this creative force is kind of like coming at you but by the book also that energy is like oh my god look i just realized this the number 11 on this card that's that's the date the 11th is the day of the full moon in gemini wow <laughs> so remember like just keep going forward do you see these little elephants that are just moving forward just putting one foot in front of the other like you don't need to go crazy about this you guys it's simpler than you think you just got to put one foot in front of the other and follow the rules you know don't don't break the rules this is not a month for you to break the rules i definitely feel that so definitely connect with your creativity this month in a way that you have never before and if things start coming through and wanting to express themselves you need to listen to that that's going to be what you have to focus on you get odin or odin however you say it <laughs> which is all about psychic insight which matches the guidance card it matches the full moon and gemini card this is your intuition heightened the card says your third eye is open see truth for what it is and follow your intuition that's your spirit guide odin now the bee is also your spirit animal this month and the bee is like i think of the bees as a community they work together each of them has a purpose not a single one of them is left out of 
like working together to create the honey. There's different steps that it takes. And so some of the bees bring in the water, some of the bees go get the pollen, some of the bees, you know, they, they work with the, you know, making the honey, you know, and then the queen has her job, you know, she has to like make more, more babies, you know, so it's insane. But this reminds me of the light workers of the world, like every single one, there's thousands and thousands and every single one has their little purpose. And this month you're going to be working very hard towards creating a future for yourself, using your creative powers to guide you towards your future. And look at this, your crystal of the month is orange sapphire, which is about joy. It's joy in sensuality. It's respecting your body and taking care of your body. So just as healing crystals are of the earth, yet separate from it, we are part of Gaia and the same water, minerals and crystals are found within us as well as within the earth. Sometimes we can feel completely in our heads and out of touch with our bodies. But Orange Sapphire Spirit is here to remind us that our bodies will serve us throughout our lifetime. So treat yours lovingly. Nourish it with good foods from the earth and water. The water too, you guys, is the element of the second chakra of creativity and the color of the second chakra is orange. So just want to point that out. But water that will replenish you. Wonder at your body's beauty and strength. Marvel at its ability to keep your heart beating and your lungs inhaling and exhaling without your conscious effort. Regardless of the flaws you think your body has, now is the time to pay attention to it and tend to it with love. The message of Orange Sapphire Spirit is to honor your body and experience its miracles. What? You got the miracle card. The senses that distinguish so many different scents, sounds, textures, and colors. Be fully present in your body today and observe what you experience and what your body has to tell you. Care for it and express gratitude for it through your body senses so that you can experience pleasure. Remember also that the second chakra is all about sexuality as well. Sensuality. So explore. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments of this reading. I hope you have an amazing December and I will see you guys again next month. Satnam. Pile number four, let's see what we got for you. We start with the karma card and that is basically the theme for you for the month. So karma is, you're going to be healing karma this month. You're going to be releasing karma. You're gonna be letting go of old patterns it's a beautiful energy, especially with this card, because you've got that beautiful lotus flower right there. And the lotus flower, some, here's something about the lotus flower. It lives in the mud, you guys. The lotus flower lives in the mud. And every day, it has to travel through the mud to get to the top, and then it opens up. And that's how it gets to the top. It goes through the mud to open up and be beautiful. And that's a beautiful um, symbolism or analogy for what this month is going to feel like and at the end of it there's going to be this beautiful pink lotus flower like full of love the lotus flower always also resembles love and compassion it's Kuan Yin is known to you know she's represented in the lotus flower and so this is an energy of compassion and I feel like you're going to be healing your heart your your heart is healing this month that's what this is about for you the three astrological influences are Chiron, the earth element, and the moon. Now, Chiron is about healing. He is the wounded healer. Right now, he's in Aries, and so he's helping us to heal our ego wounds, to let go of the things that we, you know, if we want things to be a certain way, he's, he's helping us to let go of that and step into who we really are, which is you have to connect to your heart space to do that. Now, the earth element is asking you to be more grounded this month to find you know when you feel off balance to find some things that help you feel more grounded and the moon is asking you to face your fears and and look at your emotions and how do you feel ask yourself how do you feel let yourself feel these are the three cards that are your spiritual guidance cards so you've got the energy is gaining momentum the waxing moon. It is true. <laughs> the moon is waxing right now and we're moving towards a full moon in Gemini on the 11th, which is like 22 divided by 
11 <laughs> or whatever <laughs> 22 divided by 2 is 11 there you go <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> it's okay. Moving on, so the energy is gaining momentum, the moon is waxing and we're moving towards a full moon in Gemini. Now I see this because this, I see this as representing the actual full moon that will happen in December for you because of the openness card here with an actual full moon. And the full moon is about being open and receptive. And so you're being asked to be really vulnerable this month and really open and like, just let yourself feel it. Just feel it because when you feel it and you express it and you express your feelings, you will heal your heart. You are blessed, my friends, you are blessed. And with her hands, you know, together, in Anjali Mudra, the, the prayer prayer hands, this is, this is you reconnecting with source energy. This is you remembering who you are. It's a really beautiful reading. Gaia is your spirit guide this month. And this is about earth connection. Again, you got the earth element card. And so there's a, a you have two things telling you to ground yourself this month. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to earth and stay grounded. It's literally what the card says. You get the butterfly as your spirit animal for the month and the butterfly is about transformation. You're definitely going through a transformation. You know, the caterpillar becomes a butterfly and there's nothing in the butterfly in the cellular structure or anything like that um, that rep resembles a caterpillar at all. So the caterpillar cells literally have to like die and become something else. There is no more caterpillar. So you are becoming something new. You are releasing, you're letting go. And the full moon in Gemini is going to be a very powerful moon for you. And so to so use that day to help you release even more in your life. And remember that you're transforming this month and it's all about healing your heart, not being afraid to face your fears, allowing yourself to feel and checking in with how you actually feel and then expressing how you feel. You get rose quartz and rose quartz is one of those most beautiful stones for love and compassion and the heart center. And it is your crystal of the month. The essential meaning of rose quartz is self-love, self-worth, being enough and worthiness. When rose quartz spirit appears, you are called to pay attention to one of the most wonderful creations the conscious universe has ever brought into being, you. Have you forgotten how beautiful you are? You have so many strengths and a unique set of qualities that will be like magical superpowers as you walk the healing path. Rose Quartz Spirit has come to remind you of your soul's worth. Many, many people will benefit simply from, from knowing you and being in your presence, drinking in the love that radiates from your heart. Trust that the conscious universe is always there to fill you up with the power of love whenever you need it and remind you that you are worthy of all that you seek for you are an exquisite expression of divinity. What a powerful and one of a kind source of healing love you are. What a beautiful message, you guys. This was a beautiful reading. I'd love to know what you thought of it in the comments if this is the one that you picked. And I hope you have an amazing December. Good luck healing and stay open and compassionate and ready to receive all the love from the universe. Satnam, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.